We've seen the results of aging infrastructure in San Diego, including bursting pipes, flooding roads. But what we don't see is having a big impact as well, shutting down beaches. Researchers have found the main culprit polluting the San Diego River. CBS 8's Jasmine Ramirez gives us a breakdown of the new study. Researchers here at San Diego State worked on this study for about two years to get their results. Pollution in the San Diego River flows into the ocean, contaminating the water and closing the beaches. It's why people are advised to avoid swimming for 72 hours after a big rainstorm. Many people may not know that the beach closures happen because there are really high levels of fecal bacteria in the water. Professor Natalie Lindov and her team found the bacteria was mainly from leaking sewer pipes not homeless encampments or septic tanks, as some people had once thought. She says the San Diego River contamination could potentially impact places like Mission Beach or Ocean Beach. The closures we often see in Coronado and Imperial Beach are unrelated and linked to sewage south of the border. It's nice to know that we know there's uh there's a tangible issue that we can actually fix. Elijah Garcia advocates for clean beaches and water quality. There's not a lot of studies done like this throughout um, the United States, so it's nice to get more um, information and can solve these issues. So that's a great step forward in the right direction. They're hopeful it's a step towards improving the sewer system. Researchers believe some sewer pipes are more than 50 years old. We do need to maintain our um, infrastructure if we want to have the high quality living we have um, here. San Diego's budget includes another $343 million to upgrade and repair existing water and sewer infrastructure. Next, researchers here at San Diego State are interested in finding out what areas along the river are most contaminated to pinpoint where the sewers are leaking the most. Jasmine Ramirez, CBS 8.